Okay guys, I got some pretty good news. I've worked for the last two days on making a new instrument panel. Uh, as you can see, I made it out of mahogany. Some mahogany I had left over from one of my, I guess my mini max years ago. So anyway, uh, this is what I've got done so far. As you can see, I got a tack. That's the MGL, which is a dual EGT and dual CHT. Uh, two kill switches, one for each coil, ignition switch, fuel selector. That's off on. I haven't got any labels made yet, but I'll work on that. Got a tiny tack, mainly just for the hours to keep up with the hours on the train. And then uh, got a cigarette lighter plug here is for the uh, USB to run our iPad phone or whatever and uh, the tiny tech you know we can also use it to determine uh, how accurate the other tachometer is so anyway the way it works the way I have it set up is raise these up up actually kills the, the coil packs and to check them while it's running you can I think you're supposed to be at about 3,000 rpm and then you well, let's see you raise these up and you kill one at a time watch your rpms drop click that one back down and you kill the other one and that's in the run position that way there's safety down the can't accidentally kill the engine. Uh, do have the batteries hooked up. I got everything, uh, all the wiring connected. So when you cut the key on, it automatically cuts this on, and then the the auxiliary port. So don't want to turn it over too much, but. So, it turns over, got the fuel lines all hooked up, got the starter hooked up. The one problem that I did have, I wanted to put the battery as far back in the tail as I could because I'm not sure on the weight and balance. Well, uh, because with the Perth engine and the gearbox and everything else I assume that I'm probably going to add quite a bit of tail weight so I was hoping to add the battery later but uh, the cables were too long even though that's six gauge wire uh, that far away it was just not enough it just wasn't big enough to carry that amount of amps amperage so anyway uh, I had to cut it off and if that works out I'll be able to mount it somewhere right in here and if it's still not enough weight then I'll just have to add weight to the tail so other than that working on it so I'll be able to run the fuel line to a gas can on the ground and uh, as soon as the prop blades come in should be ready to go or at least run it and start adjusting jets and props and stuff so thank you for watching